Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video and today we've got a video that I've been waiting to do. I know I've, I'm saying this for every single video and I do apologize about it but I've been waiting to do this for a very long time. Don't know why I've waited so long to do it but we're finally here. So today we're, I'm gonna like walk you guys through how I made a poster. And the poster I'm gonna be talking about is the one you're seeing on the screen right now. Probably the best poster I've ever done and the reason and probably the reason why that is is because it's not you might have seen it from the title You might have seen it from the logos at the bottom But it's not just my own um, design. This is a collab with Jake Paul design the um, Official F1 designer. He posted this. Well, hold on one sec. I'll show you guys what he posted on Twitter He basically had like a very stripped version of this Right, so this is pretty much what um, the design looked like when I opened it up. Um, of course, it had only Jake's logo, not my logo as well. But um, And he posted this on Twitter, um, giving his followers the challenge to just work on it and see what we could come up with. So today, I'm going to teach you guys how I got to where I got. So first of all, I'm just going to show you guys what he did. I'm going to give him all the credits that he needs to get. Um, and all that stuff, but the first thing I'm going to show you guys is, you know, the floor. You can see right here, this, this, you can see this texture, and um, if I take it out, it looks like this, very flat, without the texture. Um, this texture, this floor texture was made by Jake. Um, I don't own it, I didn't make it myself, so uh, I just, you know, it was in the document, I just found it there, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, for the car, what he did obviously was um, first of all he cut it out probably with the pen tool. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explain how to do stuff. I'm just gonna show you guys what we did, what I, what me and him did. Like uh, I'm not really gonna go into on how to cut stuff out with a pen tool, for example. But because there's so many videos on YouTube that explain it, and I don't want to make this video 30, 40 minutes long. So um, he cut out the car with a pen tool. This is the new Alpha Tower delivery. This is Yuki Tsunoda, by the way. Don't know why I haven't mentioned it yet. Um, but I mean, you guys probably know who he is. Um, way taller than he is in real life. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, but yeah, so the car, then uh, he cut it out with a pen tool. He put it on there. And then what he did was he put the shadow. You can see that's the shadow right here. And um, you can see that without the shadow, it looks really, really flat. If, if your if you're, um, thing looks like this and you don't know why, it's because you need to have a shadow. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys quickly how we did the shadow um, because it's kind of hard to explain if you like there isn't a video on YouTube to explain this so I think this is how you made the shadow I don't that didn't work with him directly so I don't know how you did the shadow but this is how I, I would do it so first of all now uh, make the hardness like um, get the brush tool put it a dot, like a um, layer below the car but above the floor then right clicks anywhere on the on the thing and um, this pop-up will, will appear make sure the hardness is at zero um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab these these like um, circles and you're gonna squish them together um, just about like that so then you're gonna get something like this what you're gonna do after that is you're gonna click D which resets um, the you know color pickers to black and white then you're gonna make this a bit bigger, and then you're just gonna, you know, paint. You see right there, and right there, kind of trying to do something similar to what Jake did, and then, you know, the rear wing there, and all this, that looks really bad. But, you, you know, you would spend a lot of time in it. You can also reduce the opacity, um, which would look something like this. But to be honest, reducing the opacity doesn't look too well, but too good. I would reduce the flow, maybe. This in the flow would work a bit better, I think. Um, I mean, I just play around with it, you know. I'm not gonna teach you guys. To, I'm not gonna teach you guys how to use a brush, but how to get to this brush right here. You know, I don't think there are many tutorials on how to do that. So yeah, I didn't just want to paint wherever you would expect the brush to be. So if I delete this and bring this back, you can see he put a lot more time into it and painted right where you know he should have painted. So. Um, yeah, then what another then what another thing he did was he added well first of all he added a camera off filter didn't even notice this um but you don't have to add a camera off filter well actually first of all i'm going too much head into this a camera off filter is 
basically like a filter that just lets you pretty much change anything about any layer you want. I'm not gonna go into how to use that one because there are so many videos on how to use it. So just look it up how to use camera filter in Photoshop and play around with it. But yeah, you, I don't think you needed to use it in this case. But another thing he did was he added the noise. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very well in this picture, but um, well, actually, let me just quickly see what noise is. It's this thing you see right here, the, the background isn't flat, it's very much grained and you can see also that's the same thing with the Alphatari logo um, it has this texture and that's what noise is if I take out the noise from the background that's what it looks like incredibly flat incredibly boring while with the noise it adds so much texture it adds so much that it's so important that you have texture in there um, so once you make sure you have noise you, you don't want to add it to pretty much anything like well, not the floor texture, because that has already pretty much got noise. Well, actually, that just goes over the, the background. So as long as the background has the noise, it's going to have the noise as well. Uh, and then for the shadow, you can just about see, maybe if I take it off, how, does, how it looks. You can see it's not as important in a place like the shadow, but it is still, it does still do a lot. So adding noise, don't add too much. N play around with the noise, and what you need to do to add the noise is you go to filter noise add noise uh, you can see here there's camera off filter as well um, but add noise and then when you click on it um, click on get over it, you can see you can change the amount you know look how bad that looks like 400 percent you know and noise and when it has um, and when you put something too mad too like excessive on a place with color this is only black but you put in a place with color with color as well it'll look like those like, you know, those bad cameras, which like are multicolored and then like mixing colors together. I'll show you guys. But yeah, just play around with this. Um, you know, there are also videos on how to use noise. So just look them up. So you just gotta make sure that um, you put in the right amount of noise. Not too much, not too little. Right, so um, once we got the car part, uh, you know, gotten got done with, we're gonna just look at Yuki real quick, because this is quite important. So first of all, he puts the, first of all, he doesn't add any noise here because this picture already has texture. If the picture already has texture, like also the car, you don't wanna add noise. Um, and actually in the car, I, I missed something, I'll quickly go over it. Um, he added a camera off filter. And this is gonna show you how much impor how important camera off filter is. Oh shoot! If I take it off, look how sad that looks compared to when I put it back on. Hold on, let it ha it'll have to load. Look at that! It's so much better. You're gonna be able to see this so much better when I look at Yuki. So if I, you can see he's a, he has a he put um, a camera off filter in Yuki as well. If I take it out, look. The picture is trash. It's actually trash. It doesn't fit in well. It's sad. It, it's lifeless. So, you know, camera filter, and I'm not talking as an expert here. I didn't know how important camera filter was before this, but seeing the effects from someone already put in there, um, I'm going to use it on every, on every poster from now on, and, you know, just, just go on as many videos as you can find. Make sure you're an expert in this, because it's so darn important. Anyways, after that, he also put some adjustment layers here, like shadows, you can see like at the bottom. Um, and then a uh, voice crack there and highlights at the top. Now, um, for these things, and then like a blue boost as well, you can see a bit more blue, a bit more sign looking blue. For these things, just play around with the adjustment layers. You know, right here, all these adjustment layers, play around with them and see which ones you like the best. There are many that can do the same thing. Um, so just, you know, there, there's many videos, I'm gonna actually link some videos, some tutorials down below so you guys don't have to like search the web for many like uh, videos that you don't know if they're good or not. I'm just gonna leave you some tutorials in the description uh, of some, you know, some videos for this because, you know, um, these layers, adjustment layers are crucial to, like, they're almost as crucial as, as the um, camera off filter, so make sure you have a look at the tutorials and like you learn which ones you like the best you like to use the best because like i said there are many that can do the same thing 
and just, you know, play around with them. That's, that's the only thing you can do, play around with them. Right, now I'm going to start going over what I did to improve this. So the f first thing that I really thought was important to do was I really thought that a white aura around Yuki was going to be making it so much better, and it did. I mean, I personally think that looks already much better. Um, what I did to make this was I'm, I put these two smart objects. So first, these two um, layer style effects. The first thing was uh, an inner glow. Um, so just play, again, just play around with these inner glow settings. Whichever you like, you like the best, just play around with them. Um, and then I drop shadow. Now, I could have used an outer glow, um, but I just don't particularly like an outer, outer glow. I don't know why. I much like, I much more like the drop shadow, and then I made the color white, so it it looks like an, it looked like a glow, but it was actually a shadow technically. So it's again, it's whatever you prefer. Two things I can do pretty much the same thing: drop shadow and outer glow. Whichever you prefer, use it. Um, yeah, there are also probably tutorials on how you to do this. This is more straightforward though, but just play around with it. What, and what I did here was I changed everything to white and just had a bit of inner glow to like, because to make it more realistic, because like if you have like a big light coming from behind, I guess, some of the light will like curl around you and like you're gonna be able to see the edges on this. So. That's what I did the inner glow for, and then obviously the outer glow for like this, or the drop shot in this case for this out, for this kind of like aura around him. So that was that. All right. So then what I did after that was it, it was kind of looking a bit weird because this car, because the car had nothing on it, and you know Yuki had this massive aura around him, you know. So what I did was I went to the car and I added a um, inner glow. Now I'll quickly. If I, if I double click here and just click inner glow, you know, it's gonna go all around the car. And it looks really bad because, you know, there's a drop shadow here, but it also goes brighter and it just doesn't fit very well. So after creating the, the inner glow, I'll quickly go over what I did was I right clicked like on the effect, oh shoot, and then create layer. This made an extra layer where I could then add a drop shadow. As you can see, I did above, so I'm just gonna delete this now. This is the, um, you know, without the layer mask, this is what it looked like. So you can see here I lowered the fill. I'll go over the difference between fill and opacity later in the video. Um, I lowered the fill. In this case, you could lower the opacity as well. It didn't really matter. Um, and then I added this layer mask, in which so I made it affect only the top of the car, which was a nice transition to, like, because since Yuki's at the top of him, you know, it's above him, you know, it was a nice transition. All right, so then another thing I noticed is this big circle, like, part of the Alpha Tire logo was, well, it gave a really good opportunity. Considering that the Japanese flag has a big circle in it, I decided to put a big circle in there, so um, I'm just gonna show you guys quick, I'm just gonna show you guys. I just did an ellipse, like, make sure it was proportional and then just by holding shift and then just resized it to look good um, added a red like make made it red and then added noise all pretty straightforward stuff uh, and then above it I also added Yuki's logo um, I don't particularly like the fact that it it couldn't be centered because like you can only see part of the circle but I mean nothing is cir is, is perfect you know so um, I just had to live with it but I think this was a really good fun like nice touch to the to the um, to the, you know, to the poster, because if it was, if, if I didn't have it there, it was going to be kind of hard to find some way I could have put, I could have implemented the logo on, on the poster. And this actually reminded me about something, um, I did with the floor here. Um, I also put a Japanese flat, like, circle there, you can see it right there. Um, and it's pretty straightforward how to do that. I made an ellipse, I squinted a little bit, like I, I resized it, all pretty straightforward stuff. And then I put it, um, you know, below the car, below the shadow. Uh, turned the opacity to 78, once again, if it was the fill, it would be the same kind of thing. And added some noise, um, just to make it, you know, added a lot of noise in this case, just to make it look a bit, you know, more texture. 
Right, so next thing I've noticed is that there was a big gap here and I needed to fill it. So I looked really, like it, it actually took a long time to, to find a good picture of Yuki, but I found one. Um, right here, you can see it. Um, and actually, let me just turn the effects off, you know, like I put once again the glow on him. I put it much smaller because this is still the main subject. This is just there to add a little bit to add a little bit of it, but you know, this is still the main subject. Once again, I added a layer mask, didn't actually talk about this earlier, but I had a layer mask to like, had a nice fade from the car because I don't particularly like smoke, so I just like making it fade away. Um, and then I just added, you know, I just added similar things to what Jake had uh, on the previous one. I added a camera raw filter, which does quite a lot on this one as well. You can see that's not, not as much as it did on Jake's picture as with the one I had already was really good, but it still does a lot. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really cool with the other one. So we're already uh, pretty much done with this tutorial. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, make sure to like and subscribe below. But the final part is the text. I think it's the final part. Did I miss something? Hold on. Let me just check I didn't miss something because it, we went so fast. Oh yes, actually I did miss something. Um, before, I want to leave the text for last because it's a bit complicated. It, it can get a bit complicated. So. Um, what I did was, I wanted to add a bit of life to the background. There was the noise, yes, but I went to add a little bit more to it. So what I did was I added this very, very, very subtle Japanese looking background building. I, I don't even know, I just looked up for a Japanese building and um, put it in there. Uh, I hope that this isn't like um, stereotyping or anything I just I, I mean everyone did it like for the for like everyone who like posted their designs before me put something in it so I decided to put something in there as well so um, and I put it so subtly because I just like the white background but if I was and if I was gonna put it to the maximum it didn't really go very well so I just put it to three percent and and I was thinking of doing four but I didn't like four I just like three, and two was too little, four was too much. You gotta be really precise in these times, and the and I mean in these cases. And I really, really liked how it came out. Um, and now the text. Like I said, it's probably the most confusing part of the whole thing because the rest is pretty straightforward actually. Um, so the first thing was adding the actual text. You can see how you hate to note. I also added a Japanese version, like you know, you can see it right there, the Japanese version. Um, but I didn't like the fact that it went under Yuki, so what I, but at the same time, I didn't want the whole text to go where Yuki, I just wanted the stroke to go where Yuki. So, um, yeah, this is the stroke you can see here, but it's a bit more complicated than you guys might think. So, first of all, I'll explain how I got here. What you just do to get something to be a stroke is you, you like, you copy something, I'm just gonna take this away, then you, now, here's where it's important. Um, here's where it's the difference between fill and opacity. Fill is the color, is like, you know, this. This is the fill. Any, any effects that you put there, like, I believe it's, it just, I believe it just counts for these effects. Any of these effects that you put there, that's opacity. So, if I turn the fill all the way down to zero, it would say there. Why? Because the, there, this is a, this is an this is an effect. But as soon as you take this out, it disappears because the the normal thing didn't have any effects on it. So, but as I turn the fill up, you know, you can just about see it. I turn the color overlay, you can see it completely. So, and this to add the stroke, you want to turn the fill all the way down. Then take away the smart up. I mean the color overlay. Then double, then double click and click stroke and um, make it a bit smaller because that's huge. I don't even know why I have it that big as a preset. And then, you know, I'm just going to put it to white now to show you guys, but you can see it works. It works. Um, so yeah, and you just want to play around with it, see what looks better, what, what looks best and just, um, yeah, when you're happy with it, you just click OK and you're done. I'm just going to quickly delete that now. Um, so, and in terms of which color to choose, now, usually you would choose the same color as the text because that's how you would like do a nice transition. 
Um, in this case, since the text gets brighter as it gets closer to Yuki because of the outer glow, I had to pick the I had to go with the eye dropping eye dropper tool and get really zoomed in and get the closest color I could to, you know, the brightest part of the text. Once I did that, I did the same steps that I showed you guys. And then I have this. Now, um, I made it a smart object just because it would just work a bit easier. Um, yeah, just because it would work a bit easier. But you can see I have a layer mask. Now, if I disable this layer mask, this is a problem. The, um, you know, I have to use, like I said, the brightest part of the color, of the color, because that's like when it, as it gets closer, as it gets, as the text gets closer to Yuki, you know, it, it gets brighter as the outer, white outer glow, like, uh, makes it go brighter. But at this point, it's going to be dark. It's going to be like this color or something. It's not going to be as bright as here. So if I just keep the stroke going for the entire time, for the entire text, it will look really bad at the end. So what I had to do was I, I selected Yuki. How do you, you select them by clicking either Command or Control and clicking on the um, th layer thumbnail. And you can see I selected him. And then I went to the text and I just clicked Layer Mask. Now I won't do that now. Um, but I just enabled Layer Mask. You can see it this way. Oh, shoot. Did I just do something? Yes, I did. Hold on. Let me undo that. Um, and in this case, you can just you can see how it just it just goes where Yuki is. And that's the only place you want it to go because that's the only place that's being hidden of the text. And then I repeated the same thing for the Japanese text and I got this. Now, um, it's exactly the same thing as earlier. I mean, I didn't change anything, but this is the final product. Um, and in terms of the Japanese version, this is the final product. Um, but another thing, but I think you want to do at the end is add another camera filter so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a copy of this this is Photoshop is like what I was editing on you wanna make a copy of it make it a smart object and then add a camera filter like I said filter and camera filter um, and this this is the final product with the camera filter you can see there's more saturation it's a bit more like pops out a bit more and it just adds that final touch to an already amazing um, design in my opinion so that has been this video guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, what do you guys want to see um, more of in this channel? I'm going to do a lot of Photoshop videos in the coming future, um, as I don't have the time to record anything on PS4 for, I won't have a long, any time to record anything on PS4 for a while, but I will still keep live streaming. Um, but what do you guys want to see more about on Photoshop? You guys want to see speed art tutorials, photos like posters, let me know. Um, I'm also planning on releasing a new Funamon graphics very soon, similar to my stand English graphics I made more over, over more than over a year ago. So um, yeah, I look forward to doing that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned learned something. I will leave I will leave any tutorials that you may need in the description below. But until next time, guys, goodbye.